Hello everyone, welcome to the video on pharmaceutical jurisprudence questions with answer explanation. These topics are useful for all pharma competitive exams like ESI pharmacist, drug inspector and university assistant professor examinations. Let us look up the questions. Look at the first question. See who among the following is referred as father of Indian pharmacy? The options given are H.G. Kurana, Hargovind Kurana, R.N. Chopra, Ramnath Chopra, M.L. Shroff, Mahadev Lal Shroff and Asima Chatterjee. Now let us see one by one options. The first one, Hargovind Kurana is considered as father of Indian uh, genetic technology. See, he received Nobel Prize along with two other researchers in 1968 for his work on RNA and the genetic codons which are responsible for the synthesis of proteins. When you, when you see his work, what he has done is, he has synthesized a synthetic gene outside a human cell. See, from the DNA, according to that information, mRNA get that information. From that mRNA, body synthesizes proteins. So the three nucleotides acts as a codon for one amino acid. And all this is the research work of three of the Nobel laureates. One among them is Hargovind Kurana. Because of his research work, he is considered as father of Indian gene technology. The question is about father of Indian pharmacy. So option A is not the correct one. Second one, Ramna Chopra is considered as father of Indian pharmacology. See, Ramna Chopra is the first pharmacology professor in India. And he heads a committee called as a Drug Enquiry Committee, which is also known as Chopra Committee. And this Chopra, Chopra Committee recommendations what made uh, the Drug and Cosmetic Act and also uh, Pharmacy Council of India, State Pharmacy Councils, all of them are because of this Chopra, Chopra Committee findings. But he is considered as father of Indian pharmacology. The question is about father of Indian pharmacy. Now, ML Shroff, Mahadev Lal Shroff is considered as father of Indian pharmacy. The reason is he is the one who introduced Bachelor of Pharmacy course in uh, Banaras Hindu University. Because of his works related to pharma education field, he is considered as father of Indian pharmacy. So the answer for the question is option C. Let us see the option for Asima Chatterjee is an uh, organic chemist and phytochemist. Her work was uh, related to alkaloids, uh, anti leprotic agents and anti malarial agents. So this is about all the options. So the answer is uh, ML Shroff is father of Indian pharmacy. Moving on to the next question. See the committee formed in hospital settings that is responsible for overall Pharmaceutical care is termed by World Health Organization as. So there are many committees in the hospitals. One of the committees termed are, uh, one of the committee is responsible for overall pharmaceutical care. And this is given by World Health Organization. The committee is DTC, Drugs and Therapeutics Committee. Option four is the answer. But let us look at the other options. Drug in the first option is DIC Drug Information Center. See, Drug Information Center is a center wherein people get information about drugs, their action, and their adverse effects. Second one, DIC Drug Information File is managed by all the hospitals related to drugs. Now, PTC Pharmacy and Therapeutic Committee. See, this committee is responsible for prevention and monitoring of adverse drug reactions and medication errors. Whereas Drugs and Therapeutic Committee is responsible for rational use of drug, which is considered as overall pharmaceutical care uh, termed by World Health Organization. So option four, Drugs and Therapeutic Committee is the answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. Now Schedule S in Drugs and Cosmetic Act stands for, let us see the options one by one. See the standards for patents and proprietary medicine is given in Schedule V. Second option, the standards for cosmetic is given by Schedule S. The question is about Schedule S and the answer is the standards for cosmetics. The next option, the standards for disinfection fluids is given in Schedule O. Now the last one, Schedule for biological products is given in Schedule C. See, there are a lot many schedules are there. Just understand each and everything. Uh, it will become easier to answer such kind of questions. Now the last one, which of the following is an important document of the hospital containing a collective list of drugs? Now understand this, every hospital has got a collective list of drugs which, which they decide to use for their patients. This is known as hospital formulary. Option 4 is the right answer. Now understand this one, we have National Formulary of India is there, NFI. NFI contains a list of drugs which is referred by entire Indian hospitals. Now the remaining answers, Drug Information Bulletin is, is related to drug updates, uh, which is given to update the knowledge of pharmacists. Hospital Register, you know, it is a general register which, which keeps everything about hospitals. Pharmacopoeia, we know about pharmacopoeia. So the answer for this is hospital formula. I hope this is useful. All the best.